Some counties have already started processing absentee ballots, and there are a lot of them. Latasha Givens has a look at where the numbers stand and when we can expect results. On the first day of early voting for the Georgia Senate runoffs, we saw record numbers with over 482,000 votes cast. And as of Thursday morning, more than 2.8 million people have voted. Kenyon Coleman has been voting early since the primaries. I will tell you, when I heard it was going to be a runoff, I was like, oh. I'm going to have to wait in line again. <laughs> but she did, and during the long lines in Smyrna, she says voting is not just a right, but also a responsibility. I always vote, so um, it's everyone has a voice, and it has to be heard somehow. As for when we could expect results, we asked elections officials in the most populous metro counties, many of which have already started processing absentee ballots. Cops started last week on December 21st. DeKalb County started opening absentee ballots on December 21st, but didn't start scanning until this week on December 28th. With the exception of military ballots, DeKalb expects to have its results on election night or by the next day. So far, Gwinnett has scanned more than 82,000 absentee ballots and anticipates the possibility of having results on election night unless the number of mail-in ballots push the count into the next day. According to its website, Clayton County has processed more than 34,000 mail-in absentee ballots. Everybody should be out here. I don't care who you're voting for. Otherwise, it's not a democracy. And throughout the day, we've been checking with Metro counties to see if they had any major issues. Cobb County reported longer wait times in line, but some voter registration groups say that once voters were inside a few locations, it took a lot longer to use the voting machine tablets, but they attribute that to the bandwidth at some of those locations, and those were in Fulton, Cobb, and DeKalb. But again, we weren't made aware of any major issues today. All right, Latasha, thanks for the update there.